back to the West Ham Network channel. My name is Harry and in today's video I'll be previewing the West Ham vs Wolves game at the London Stadium. A must win for David Moyes and West Ham and although I don't like to say it, our next few games are really going to determine whether or not Moyes stays in the job or not. Some West Ham fans already want him out, but others like myself seem to be optimistic and feel like he should be given more time. Let me know in the comments whether you want Moyes in or Moyes out. It'll be interesting to see how he lines up against Wolves, with obviously a lot of fans calling for our new signings to come in and take over from our original players, who seem to be a bit out of form. But before we get into West Ham's lineup, let's have a look at our opposition Wolves. Wolves sit in 17th position, one spot ahead of us in the table, only by two points I must say, so it is fair to say both teams haven't hit off in the opening spring of games in the Premier League. When I do watch Wolves however, they do seem to knock the ball around pretty well, and have some really nice tricky and technical midfielders in their side. However, they are just failing to put the ball in the back of the net, which is of course very similar to West Ham. So positive for West Ham would be that both Raul Jimenez and their new signing Sasa Kalajic are both out injured. Maybe an insight into why they are struggling to score. Nathan Collins, their new centre back, is also unavailable for the game against us due to a straight red card, which he received in a previous game against Manchester City. Enough of the positive for West Ham. However, there is one man who they have just brought in who definitely looks to prove a point in his first game for Wolves, and that man is Diego Costa. Now, I know his best days are probably past him, but I do seem to think he will be a handful for most Premier League defences this year, and West Ham needs to be on their A game. We all know Diego Costa's tactics, he's a bit of a wind up merchant he'll more than likely look to annoy the defenders into giving away silly fouls and even penalties. So hopefully Zuma and the rest of our defence will be a bit cleverer in the way of handling him. Long are the days where Wolves would line up with a back five, now under Bruno Log, they play a 4-3-3 with three very technical midfielders. So here's how I think they will line up against us on Saturday. In goal, Jose Sarr. At left back, Ryan A. Nuri. The two centre backs will most likely be Max Kilman parted next to either Yerso Mosquera or Totti Gomez, which are both promising youngsters. At right back will be Johnny Otto, and then the three central midfielders will be Ruben Neves next to Matias Nunes and Jal Moutinho. At left wing will be Gonzalo Guedes, a new signing, and on the right will be Pedro Neto, which leaves the starting striker spot free for Diego Costa. If, however, Bruno Lag seems it's too early for Diego Costa to start, it will more than likely be Daniel Pudence in the striker role, playing a more like a false nine and an interchanging front three. A player to watch out for off the bench will be Shem Campbell. Now, I reckon a lot of you aren't going to know who he is, and that's because he's a youth prospect. However, Campbell has come on in recent games and looked very promising, either through the middle or out on the wing. He's a very good dribbler, so Bruno Log may look to put him on to have a bit more of a creative spark. Now moving on to West Ham. As I said earlier, this is a must-win game for both David Moyes' future and West Ham's. I think a lot of people are going to be expecting a lot of change in terms of his team selection. I personally don't. I think there'll be too much change, so here's how I think he will line up. I think David Moyes will stick with his 3-5 at the back, but go with a 5-3-2 instead. This is purely down to stability and the fact that especially down our right hand side we are really struggling. In goal will be Fabianski, still no Ariola for me and I think Fab has looked the better out of the two. At right wing back we will go with Kufal, not really any other option here obviously due to injuries. And then the three centre backs will be Krezel on the left, Kurt Zuma through the middle and Philo Kerr on the right of him. I think Kerr will be really good in this game, obviously helping out Kufal and hopefully bringing some better build up down on the right hand side. Obviously Kerr is very good in the ball as we all know. So... Him getting on the ball a little bit more, a bit wider out, would hopefully help Gerald Bowen as well. At left wing back, I think he'll play Emerson there. and just looks at getting down the byline and cutting balls in, really creating that width for the side. The three midfielders will be very important in this game to stop us getting overrun in that central area. Declan Rice will be sitting with four nails one side and Lucas Paquette at the other. I hope anyways. But we all know Moyes, he'll probably play Sujek still. Another two up top. I don't think both men up front will be out and out strikers. I do think one will be a winger who will drift out wide at times. So for me, this player will be Jared Bowen. I know he is out of form, but I think Moyes trusts him over the likes of Cornet so far. And if you look at his goal tally against Wolves in previous game, I think he favours a goal against them. And the other striker role will be Mikel Antonio. Now once again, this will probably be sorted by the fans, but in my opinion, I think he has done very well lately, performing better than Skamaka. So I think it would be the right decision. So that is my predicted lineup. Something a bit different to combat Wolves' midfield, of course. But knowing Moyes, however, it really would not surprise me if it was a 4-2-3-1 and the same side we played against Everton. But we'll have to wait and see. I do, however, think we'll get a result. And I'm going to go with a 2-0 win with goals from Antonio and Bowen. Well, that is it, guys, for my prediction. Let me know what you think in the comments and also tell me how you'd like to set up the team. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe. See you in the next one.
Good morning. Good morning.